Hey everybody, it's Sarah with Encore Editions and I'm really excited to announce something new we're rolling out here. It's called the Giving Heart Charity. And what that means is every month beginning this Thursday, so March 1st, we will be choosing a different cause to support with the sales of curated collections of our images. So the first cause um, for March is a local one and very dear to uh, my heart and I know a lot of people in this area. Um, it's the Last Chance Ranch. They're located in Quakertown, Pennsylvania, so just a hop, skip, and a jump from our studio. And uh, they are primarily known for rescuing horses. This is how they started out with horses. Uh, but they also have quite a few dogs and a menagerie of different um, farm animals and even an emu. So um, they really do amazing things uh, to save all of these animals and rehabilitate them and find them new homes. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over and have a nice tour with Jackie Burke, who has been kind enough to take some time out of her busy day to fit us in. Uh, she is the fundraising expert over there at Last Chance Ranch. And um, we hope you come along with us. We're just gonna learn more about them and see their facility. And my son tagged along today, so it should be pretty fun. Uh, so come along with us and hopefully at the end of it all, You'll check out the collection we have um, linked here to, you know, see some of the horse and dog images we put together for them, and hopefully we can make big sales and make a difference for their cause. Come along with us. Ranch is a nonprofit animal rescue located in Quakertown, Pennsylvania. Um, we are located on 35 acres here total, so the majority of it is fenced for the horses and the small animal or the barnyard animals, goats, sheep, pigs, all that kind of stuff, and then. Um, this is our kennel facility for the cats and the dogs. Um, we also have an uh, indoor riding arena, which allows us to do riding lessons throughout the year, uh, equine adoption appointments and everything like that. Mm, pretty muddy on the farm. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come here. So fortunately, these guys think that we have food for them. But we have uh, Ricky and Gizmo, uh, two <laughs> goats that, uh, Gizmo's a permanent resident. He goes with us to different events throughout the year. He kind of acts as an ambassador for Last Chance Ranch. Ricky is available for adoption. Um, he's an adult, um, medium-sized goat. He's probably about two to four years old. Then coming over here is Gizmo. Um, Coming over now is Dexter. <laughs> oh, hi, Dexter. Come here, Dexter. Dexter. So Dexter is actually a breed of mini cow. Um, oh. He's a zebu Dexter cross, uh. and uh, the zebu leads to him having this uh, little bit of a fatty hump on his back. Um, so he's not quite full grown yet. Um, he might get double his current size. He's about two years old right now. Uh, but he came when he came to us, he was super skinny and he may have been a little bit stunted um, from uh, not having proper nutrition. So he might not get as big as like the breed standards for the breeds that he's mixed with. Uh, but he's super friendly. He's a he's a permanent resident because he's a ambassador for Last Chance Ranch. Aww. Do better with um, the high 
find a <laughs> correct limbs missing. So you could be a robo dog. Get a prosthesis. Hey. <laughs> this is Love Bug. She's a super senior shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> so she has like no teeth. That's why her tongue sticks out okay, right now. She okay. has, I think the vet said she has like one tooth. Okay. So, yeah, you can pet her. She's friendly. Oh, let her smell your hand. How senior is she? Um. Well, we're putting her at 10 plus. I mean, she could be anywhere from 10 to 15 years old. Yeah. Usually you can kind of tell a dog's age by their teeth. Right, well. they're not really having any teeth, we're not really sure. But I, she is very friendly. I, I mean, see She gets around pretty well. She still has, you know, vision and everything like that. But That's even good. though she's older, it doesn't seem to affect her. Right? She's a purse dog. Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> in your hair like we do when we get older <laughs> and that may have been like a little bit from we don't know you know if she had any fleas Where did they or find anything her? she did come in pretty mad at so oh. um she came in through philadelphia animal control um so we pull a lot of dogs from that facility just because it is a high intake facility um they have a lot of rescue partners like us that help them um place dogs so oh do you want sweetheart to another, another doggy one more time mm -hmm. be very gentle so the gallery we um, curated is primarily horses and dogs oh, because sorry. that's the majority yeah. of the animals you have here. So we'll do 10% of every sale for, through Wonderful. the month of March for that collection and give it back to the Last Chance Ranch and hopefully hopefully it'll make a difference. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's wonderful. I yeah. mean, everything everything helps. So Every little as bit. you see, we have a ton of animals and they require a lot of feed, a lot of different care. So um, all donations help and we do really appreciate, yeah. you know, your, your donation. We're very happy to do it.